In this lesson, we'll discuss what happens to the amino acid glycine at various pH levels. The question reads, the pi of glycine is 6, pi is isoelectric point. Draw the structural formula and state the overall charge for glycine at 6, 8, and 3. We learned that at the isoelectric point, you have a zwitter ion forming. A zwitter ion is an ionized amino acid where the net charge of the molecule is equal to 0, even though it's charged. So we're told that for glycine, it's at 6, and that's part A. Glycine looks like this. We have the ammonia group. So I'm drawing the non-ionized version first. That's our central carbon bonded to hydrogen. And we have the carboxyl group. So all amino acids have this general structure. Then we have the R group, which differentiates the different types of amino acids. And for glycine, it's H, simply a hydrogen. So we're told that the isoelectric point is at 6 pH. And at the isoelectric point, the carboxyl will lose its hydrogen and become negative here. And that hydrogen will bond to this nitrogen, making this nitrogen positive. So that's what the amino acid looks like at 6. Notice that even though it's charged on both sides, the net charge is 0. At a pH of 8, it's becoming more basic. When this happens, the ammonium group this part right here, loses its hydrogen to become NH2 again. So this hydrogen will dissociate from the left side. It will lose its charge. And because the carboxylate group remains ionized, the overall charge of glycine at pH of 8 is negative 1. So expect the charge here to be negative 1. The overall charge for A is 0. At a pH of 3, on the other hand, the carboxylate group will gain a hydrogen ion because it's becoming more acidic, the solution. So let me show you what happens. First, I'll erase the charge, and I'll erase this. It's becoming more acidic than it was in A, so this still remains as H plus, and over here we'll have a hydrogen bonded to this oxygen, forming that hydroxyl or that complete carboxyl group. As you can see, there is a charge, an overall charge of plus 1. And there you have it. That's how to interpret amino acids in acidic or basic solutions.